The push for a four-day work week has gained traction during the pandemic, but it's not a new idea. It was not pie in the sky. Higher wages and short hours. That's what's that's the backbone of labor. And that was what constituted the traditional American dream. Then vice presidential candidate Richard Nixon even campaigned on it during the 1956 election. Around the same time, Wall Street shortened its trading hours from five and a half days a week to only five. We got rid of Saturday trading hours back in the 1950s. We added an extra half hour in the morning back in the 1980s. The real question is, how long should they be open? A November 2020 survey of more than 2,000 office workers worldwide found that 74% said they supported a four-day work week. We have a new cohort of workers that are entering the force. To compete for talent, we have to listen to our people. Businesses exist to achieve a task, and to do that, they can't do it with just their business owner. We need our people. Even though we have computerized markets, the traders who watch those markets are human beings like the rest of us. The idea is also gaining traction in Congress. Representative Mark Chicano from California introduced federal legislation in July 2021 that would shorten the standard work week to 32 hours. Since businesses, including Wall Street, have shortened the work week in the past, could it happen again? What would happen if the four-day work week came to Wall Street? The pandemic has shifted people's opinions about work. Employees are making it clear that they like the flexibility of working from home, and companies are taking notice. That's one of the discoveries that people have made with the COVID working from home, that they can have a life and do their job as well. And don't have to go in and stay in the office 10 hours a day and pretend to be doing things, uh, just burning the time. Preliminary trial runs of a four-day work week in Iceland suggest that working fewer hours could lead to increased productivity. Some U.S. companies have adopted or are piloting four-day work weeks, such as Kickstarter and social media software company Buffer. But there are still questions about how the U.S. economy may be impacted on a larger scale if a four-day work week becomes the norm. When we talk about having a pilot program for a four-day week in your business, we're realistically talking about having a conversation in your business about what productivity truly is, how you're going to measure it, and how you're going to improve it, and how do you support a conversation around reducing working hours so that we can actually get those benefits into our society. And it might not be a four-day week. It might be, you know, reducing work hours, you know, to 32 hours over five days. Proponents of a shorter work week point to the harm overworking does to a person's physical and mental health as a reason to shift to fewer hours. In March 2021, results of an internal survey showed that junior investment bankers at Goldman Sachs reported that the working conditions were, quote, inhumane, saying that they were working more than 100 hours per week and only had about four hours a day for sleep and self-care. The idea is that we create this groundswell that understands that working the number of hours that we are now and burning out and ruining our lives, ruining our health, uh, isn't actually worth it. It's very easy to see how rest and play become a part of the way that we make ourselves well again. You know, whether it's investment banking, wealth management, uh, you know, financial planning, it's always been a culture of heavy hours and working a lot. Now that we've had a chance to, we've been forced to stop to a certain degree and reorient ourselves because of the COVID environment, it has allowed us to re-examine what that culture is. There's evidence that a shorter work week could also be in a company's best interest. In August 2019, Microsoft Japan tested a four-day work week without pay decreases. It led to a 40% improvement in sales per employee compared with the previous summer. Most of the employees also said they liked the change. So what are the odds U.S. exchanges could shorten trading hours and how could it impact markets? If U.S. exchange hours were changed to a four-day schedule, there would likely be a big short-term impact. So I think there, there potentially could be some volatility early on. This would be a seismic shift from a five-day trading week to a four-day trading week. Over time, a lot of those potential issues could be streamlined and mitigated. Essentially, the trading volumes remain the same, but you have less time. So you have to cram in all those buy and sell orders into four days instead of five days. So you get more volatility. 
A shift to a four-day trading week would probably also require investment into how the market's electronic trading infrastructure operates. You would think in this computerized world that we should just let the computers run 24-7. But the reality is a lot of people have to monitor those computers. And it's not just the technical staff making sure they're working. It's the people who are working customer orders. There's a trade-off between the human element of the people who work in the markets and the machine element that could go all night long. Shorter trading hours could also slow down the process of completing a trade. We have three days away from the terminal and four days on. I think a challenge could be settlement times. If I wanted to get out of a particular name and get into another, can I do it within a week's time? I think that's a very important element to examine and work through as we move forward. But there could be potential benefits to shortening hours, such as attracting more diverse talent to the industry. It's no secret that the you know, finance profession and trading especially are overwhelmingly male. And in the industry, we're doing a lot of navel gazing to say, how can we fix this problem? How can we make the business more attractive to, to women and other people who've previously been discriminated against in the industry? And one of the things floating around in Europe is the idea of shortening their trading hours. Culturally, it would take a lot to make Wall Street work fewer hours, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. The financial sector traditionally has been one that folks work a long time and are there Saturdays, Sundays, you know, 70 hour work weeks has been the norm. And as we look at a new cohort of workers entering into the workforce, I can absolutely see a shift here because it's happening in other industries. It's happening all over the world. Once again, people are talking about work-life balance, not just in terms of a stable 40-hour week, but work-life balance in terms of reduction. It may be that the process of shortening the hours of labor is starting again. I have my doubts, but it looks exciting. Even though the general public may be excited about a four-day work week, there have actually been calls on Wall Street to make market hours longer. When the market closes at four o'clock in the east, it's still only one o'clock on the west coast. And there are a lot of retail investors who are left basically unable to trade until the next morning. They would love to have longer hours, but every time that suggestion comes up, the people on the east coast go, wait a minute, no! Because even though the computers don't complain, the people who have to watch those computers do. Even though the markets have an open and close, there is still trading going on outside of standard operating hours. Regular trading session starts at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and it closes at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. But stock trading can also occur as early as 4 a.m. and as late as 8 p.m. Most exchanges now offer after hours trading where investors can buy and sell securities outside of the regular trading session. There's a big difference in stock market action during set trading hours and extended hours. People trade more when the market is open, and the industry knows this. So they certainly are going to be in uh, no hurry to shut down the cash register. There's an expectation, especially from retail investors, that they'll be able to access trading after hours. The trend we're seeing is for consumer services to be available 24-7. I consider it a great technological failure that if I can't log on to a website at 10 o'clock at night and order something from an online vendor, the fact that the stock market closes so early in the day is actually a big nuisance. You know, For the bulk of retail investors, it's a pain that the stock market is open as few hours as it is. There are pros and cons to trading during extended hours. Stocks react more drastically to company announcements, which usually come out after hours. So if you want to bet on a company's earnings, and you would usually buy and sell the stock after the bell. It is pretty speculative in nature that you want to capture the profit in a very short amount of time. There are also fewer people trading after hours, which means it may be harder for a seller to find someone to buy a stock at a specific price. If you're trading a U.S. stock um, and you're trading it after hours, oftentimes that execution will be executed the following day when markets open. So that sometimes is not the best pricing from an investment perspective on execution. So we don't do a lot of it, but it, it is it is something that obviously investors are interested in it from time to time. It's also important for investors to have time to regroup and strategize about the next day's market action. 
companies want the investors to have the time to digest the news, to go through the, all the numbers in the earnings report and really make a rational investment decision instead of acting on it immediately and sometimes emotionally and irrationally. If the markets already function outside of its current set schedule, does that mean hours could be extended rather than shortened? Even the markets only open from 9.30 to 4.00. Most traders monitor the news 24-7. Extending trading hours even more would be a lot more, you know, consuming for them. I really don't want the people who are managing my retirement plan to be any more fatigued and tired when they're doing the trading. 